Hoffmann. So I'm not sure if we're still having the same issues that we were having before, but we're going to go ahead and start. And if tonight turns out to be a podcast instead of a live television, it'll have to be. Um, there's, I'm sure at this point. Anyway, hi, how's it going, everyone? I'm Dave Gould, and this is Tuesday Fish Talk Live. Uh, we are live. We're uh, running a little bit behind. Um, I don't have a video feed. To do this, say anything in the chat, but I always see you come on. And Marie Roth about immersions. And uh, I don't know if you saw that video that I is there, when you see they can see it. Go ahead and and jump right in. Kind of a pause water, and you're like that water sound is not good. And then we're going forth and and make this the the okay. new <laughs> the new make a plan to have a plan. So so fish in there and uh, freak out, and then at the last minute go uh, be prepared. Know what you're gonna do. Now look at the fish. Go right, so make sure the kids are safe and the dog's not freaking out. Then come back to the tank. That will help level your head as well. Once the power is released, will provide, um, it will take some of that ammonia out of the tank. Because when the fish don't have as much air, they're going to start stressing out a little bit. And the more that they breathe, the logical. As soon as this comes back to life, if it does, we're locked in hell right now. Oh my god! I can't do anything. Can't change any scene. Can't do anything. I can't I can't I can't even lower the volume of this music and it's driving me nuts. Anyway, since it is working, that's the video. This is the fish of the week, okay? This is a li uh Nimbachromus Livest Stony. If you're gonna talk Ron, you gotta percent off it just came back to life and there we go. Yay. Okay, coming back to reality. There's a name, Mario Vidakovis. It's a gremlin, is what it is. It's a, it's a, the Japanese did something here or something. I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah. So, where were you at on that? Just get me back to where you're at. Number two on power failure. Just heard power equipment. You can buy a 12, and then um, potentially you can have a UPS backup. I know they're not as popular as they used to be, but that will have enough juice to, you know, help you. One air pump, preferably. Of course, air stones and the hose that goes with it. Power heads. Um, some have wet the tank for. Um, Question, real quick, Ron. So, um, do water changes during this time? If you're going to the backup power. Um, so the main so the main power consumption thermostat and your heaters into the room with the fish. If you keep that the computer backup system battery and your alternators, like you lose power. Everybody had them under their desk or electrical or longer. Um, if you want to learn how to wire it up in series, just go online and, and Google search it. It's, it's very simple. You basically just hook a positive. You guys are seeing it in the show at the same time. <laughs> uh, there's the inverter. Um, tell us a little bit about this one. Check the air stones. Think alive for a week. Yeah. I mean, Filter. Having a back comment on this. Thousand and ice. The other one in a wet dry system will keep it alive. Bubble manufacturers, just a little tiny motor in there, like you would have on a 10, 10 being as well. So, if you're running inverters or you got your generator, <laughs> these things out you from one end to the other when you take it apart. So, a little egg <laughs> on social media is happening there right now, go. anyway. So, this is a uh, 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 splitter, and uh, having these handy are always good too. They so can handle the, uh, the 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 load much better than a, a power strip in some cases. Yeah, yeah. And then this is your baby. I have one of these on my Hager. My Hager, uh, two hundred watt. Thick is um, is real. Um, it's part of our story in a little while. This is a an ink bird. Um, did a tank re Um, that should be fun. Um, let's go ahead and you know the one of the biggest night two thousand too much. I have personally had this. Wet dry vac, or no, you've got to know the most of these totes in the buckets. Quickly move your fish. Hopefully, you've got other people there with you, family members that can help. And if you do, part of that assess the situation is give everybody jobs. The day my show tank busted, we all had jobs. Me, my son, my wife, my little girl, we all conquered it together. So, tank 
canisters on this and i have that for two of my canisters um pressurize and put trying to squeeze it in months works take the o-ring off every come first yeah yeah so uh sometimes it's not a catastrophic it's bad what filter and maybe taking some pantyhose and putting all your biological media in those bags you're having equipment failure a lot of times the the problems with canisters are gonna take all the suck tubes for those uh, you don't you know um anything from the low 60s up into the low 90s and as long as it's gradual the fish can handle it they'll be fine don't freak out about it it's not a big deal knowing what you're gonna do now then we also talked about equipment failure, thing and then i see it all over in other groups and all that i'm going to let me just do -do. some computer because everything's real you know we should do this ron we should have like a few miles away so there you go i actually like to run um, would be something along lines of aeration. A couple callers in uh, Connecticut. How you doing? Hey, Charlie. What's going on? Cross down with the hurricanes and and the extreme heat, and so it's two extremes. But you know what what Ron was discussing is you can apply, you know, what he's saying to both scenarios. Absolutely. Yes, you know, so it's very this topic. I'm so we're just gonna good. I'm something away. So here we go. <laughs> it's gonna spin now. Here we go. So it is spinning. And it's spinning, and there's a bunch of prizes on here, and you won 250 of Seachem Safe. Exactly. That's all right. Call her in. All right. All right. All right. So they both. The both of them dropped off right at that time. I see somebody on hold. Yeah. Here we go. Hey, caller. Hey, how's it going, guys? Good. You guys are running, you know, 15, 20 tanks, and everything's running on one, um, you know, one pump, uh, and you don't have a spare pump to run all the tanks. What's something you guys could possibly do to, you know, um, try to save all your tanks, or at least, you know, do something? What to have is, is make them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and spin. If it, I'm watching the ticker here, so hold on a second. Uh, Make it easy. Try it. Oh, it is easy. I just I'm on. Let's do that. So we're gonna go ahead and let this music play. So right now, music on here. Spin to win. Hashtag spin to win. Think about that, Ivan. Double entries. Upper back. Um, I said, sorry, emergencies. So, tell, see it. evening, he lost his whole. Show. I love him, as a friend, and as a cut for the, anybody who has this never soul. Appreciate everybody that. Uh, so let me go to spin the wheel. Into wind. The wheel. We just haven't given any fish away in a while. Actually, let's keep that giving fish it to. Anyway, <laughs> it started. Ooh. It started. So here it goes. Yeah. Come on, fish. We do have is Nimbichromus Livingstone Eye. I'll let you go ahead and talk about that, Rom. Amazing little species. I love these guys. Um, as we spoke last week in HAPS, um, they're the in the Utaka cichlid family. Um, they are one of five um, of the genus Nimbichromus. You have the Vipolis and the Lenis, and it's up and eats them. So. It's a very unique trait that these fish have, and that's the way they hunt in nature. They just lie there motionless like they're dead. Tell us about the promotion, Ron. So what, midnight tomorrow night? Yeah, so midnight Friday. Okay, midnight. Everybody's patience with uh, us. Um, actually, I'm the one I feel it's been the most patient because it's <laughs> driving me nuts. But uh, it's not an it's all that, and it's, I don't know, there's something in the streaming software that's not set right. And I think it's not, uh, we don't get any interaction so much on the chat. It is much better quality. This week, we will be back on at the same time. To um, I'm going to South Carolina on Thursday. So if you guys need anything, get in touch with me for Thursday evening. Yeah, yeah. We forgot to pull that up. But Sean, uh, Ron makes a trip up I-95 up to South Carolina and does free delivery. So if you've got an order and you live along that I-95 corridor, reach out to, to Ron. All right. Take care, everybody. Have a good night. Good night.